Pretty girls can cook and pretty guys can eat. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, uh, you're a chef here in, in the uh, Mississippi uh, state, and uh, what do you cook and how did you get into cooking? So I'm actually not a chef yet. I actually cook at home. Um, it actually started from me just cooking for my family, and people would ask all the time, do you cook, do you cook, do you cook? And I'm like, no, this is for my family. And it originated from me just being a young mother, and the kids were hungry, so I had to learn how to cook, and then it just kind of turned into a passion. But one thing about it is I have to be in the mood to cook. <laughs> okay. So, so where'd you come up with the idea of the name? I figure because sometimes people feel that... Um, not boosting and calling myself pretty, but I think sometimes <laughs> people feel that you have to look a certain way to do certain things. So I kind of felt like, hey, you know, I could be cute and cook in the kitchen too. So, and then I cook soul food. I cook different kind of meals. So I felt like knowing how to cook a variety of food made it better. And where do you want to go with this? Like, what are the goals? I would love a food truck. A food so truck? I can, yeah, so I can reach different people and not be stuck in one spot and be able to pull up on you all and bring you lunch. Right, because you want to keep like that homemade cooking, right? Because yes. you don't want to be in a kitchen, you know, in a professional kitchen. You like the idea of homemade. Yes, I love the, the nourishing of it. I love having my music going while I'm cooking. Um, it just takes, I want to keep the passion in it. I don't want it to turn time just in the kitchen all day. I would hate for that. <laughs> yeah, and then you get the food truck and you have a DJ stand that comes out. I would need the DJ, definitely. You, you, you would need the DJ. And uh, when you're cooking, what kind of music are you listening to? Um, I love R&B. I love all kind of music. I love gospel. I love R&B. I love some rap. It just depends, new and old. I love country music. I love all kind of music. Oh, there we go. Country yes, music fan. Yes. There you go. I got some cowgirl boots. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it. I, I guess when you grew up in the Holmes County area, you needed some cowboy boots. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right. We're going to show this because... She made us some dishes here, and we're going to pull this up. So tell me about what you just cooked right here. So I did a chicken alfredo with homemade sauce. I actually made it this morning. It's still hot. Um, I did a little drizzle on there, and I, I decided, I said, well, what's the best way to say a pretty girl can cook with them out tasting the food? So I wanted you all so to So you don't taste food. your own food? Of course I do. I have to cook. Oh, okay. I'm already a little I thought, fool. I, I, thought you, I thought you said you didn't. I was like, wait a second. How do you do that? <laughs> I wanted you all to taste the food. It wouldn't be right if I just told you it tastes good. I needed someone to vouch for it. Yeah, and can I vouch for it real quick? Please do. Okay, so off camera, I did take a bite of this. <laughs> How was it? Oh, it's live at nine. It was an A+. Plus. It, was, it was wonderful. <laughs> and I love the, the, the cheese and the, I mean, the chicken. You... Yes, and it's still warm. Pretty girls can cook. How about that? Yes. All right, how do we find you? So we're sitting here, we're going, okay, well, I'm interested in pretty girls can cook. Okay. I want to try your food. Where do you go? Where, where do we find you? All handles on Instagram, Facebook will be pretty girls can cook, all one word, and pretty is spelled P-R-E-T-T-I. Awesome. And then is that your contact, 601-272-8055? That's it. There you go. Yes. And you can go You can go find her. I guess what's the, what's the most fun part of doing this? Because people like to run. You know, they get into their mindset. Some people like to clean and they can get into their mindset. For you, it's obviously cooking. I mean, yes. is, is it a relaxing thing? Well, what is it? Um, like, again, I have to be in the mood to cook. But for me, it's therapy. Um, I, I actually enjoy more so of people tasting my food and seeing how good it tastes in the cooking of it. I want to hear the reviews. I want to hear I like that I want to hear, oh my God, it was seasoned so good. I, that, that's the joy in it for me, for people to truly enjoy the food. It's seasoned with love, and that's what makes it all pretty girls can cook. You so, know? so while they're eating, you're asking. Yeah, did, did, I want to know you? right there. I'm waiting on that first bite, like, uh, how was it? <laughs> By the way, my dad is the same way. You can't enjoy your food because he's just asking you the yeah, whole time. Yeah, and then if I don't get a review, I'm mad. I'm like, was it good? You know? <laughs> No one has ever told your food is bad. I have not heard that yet, but you know, everyone likes what they like. So if I did get an honest review and they didn't like it, I will actually take it to heart and make some adjustments if needed. Hey, learn, learning to cook, and then all of a sudden now you are a chef with Pretty Girls Can Cook. All right.